Hey, you know we have a handful of different art kits around here I'm always tripping over. Yeah, different kits for different purposes. Right, and we're going to talk about what's in the art kit that I bring with me when we do conventions or in stores, or even just when we're traveling and I want to work on some comic art. So when you need to do a con sketch or something. Yeah, but I should stress that the contents of this kit are always in flux. Mm -hmm. I am always <laughs> trying out different tools. So at any given time, I just try to have these kits filled with whatever works best for me currently. Now, before we open the kit, one of the essential things I bring with me is paper. Of course. You know, I always have a sketchbook and Bristol board with me if I can. But if I had to pick just one type of paper for con sketches, it would be watercolor paper. Okay. It's heavy. It can take pencils, inks, ink washes, whatever. Mm. This is a pad of cold pressed paper, but I prefer hot press because it's smoother and easier to ink on. So if I can't find a small pad of hot press, I cut larger sheets down into a reasonable size. Those are what, five by seven? Yeah, five by seven is a nice manageable size. Most of the time you can get a decent image done at that size in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, and I know time is tight at conventions. Exactly. All right, let's open this thing already. All right, this case is divided in two sections. And to keep things organized, I keep all the stuff I use to start a drawing in this first part. That seems like a good way to organize things. I thought we could go through my process. Okay. So let's do a sketch that I might do at a con or in an in-store. Here's my paper. All right, you're working on the hot press? Yeah, and the first thing I might grab from the kit is a non-photo blue pencil to sketch things out. Yeah, just to get things started. Now you can find these blue pencils in a regular thickness and with a thinner, lighter core. Next thing out of the kit is often a little ruler. Easy to find, inexpensive. Yeah, and I get the kind with the cork on the back because that can help prevent ink lines from smearing. So with the blue pencil, I rule a border to keep things organized and because I might use it later, and then I do a very loose sketch to get my bearings. So just laying things out on the page. Yeah, and I'll add a little more detail as I figure out what I'm doing. Next out of the kit is a 4H pencil. It lays down a very light line, and sometimes I'll start with this one instead of the blue. Okay. But this one needs a little sharpening, so I grab my Mobius and Rupert sharpener. Wayno tipped you up to that one. It was a good tip. Yeah. I like it a lot. And you're going to put the tools and materials in the info. Sure. But again, that list is the stuff that I currently have in the kit. Mm. The tools I currently like. But as I said... It's always in it flux. It is always in flux. So maybe some people could skip this step. I don't because I, I like to have a pretty tight sketch finished before I ink. So I go over my blue line with the 4-H pencil. I guess we should mention you're sketching Ms. Marvel. Yes, the current Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan. Ms. Marvel is sometimes in flux. Mm -hmm. Ms. Miss, is that ah. also in flux? You know what? I am not dead certain how mm -hmm. to pronounce it, but yeah, I, I believe this is the third or fourth Ms. Marvel. Okay. And she's got her own Disney Plus series coming up, and she's also the kind of character that you might get asked to draw at a con. Right. So you're basically recreating the convention experience. Exactly. Someone asks you to draw Ms. Marvel, mm -hmm. this is what you do, and this is how you do it. Yeah. I mean, more or less. I have a little more time to make this look decent than I might have at a con, but I'm sort of racing through this for authenticity's <laughs> sake. The tight pencils are sketched out, so now it's time, get ready, oh boy, to open the other side of the kit. Yes, I hope it's filled with money. Well, you and me both, <laughs> but no, it's just pens. Pens? Again? <laughs> That's all you ever have is pens. <laughs> when do we get some money? I spent all the money on pens, baby. <laughs> on pens! <laughs> And the pens I chose to spend the money on are Sakura Micron Fine Liners. Aha! Now this is the big, like the 10 pen set. Okay. It's got a wide range of nib sizes. I think 0.15 millimeters to 0.70 millimeters. You don't need all these sizes, but maybe. Right. Who knows? I've also filled this kit before with Pitt Artist Pens, and they have just the four sizes. So it works either way. Okay, so you're inking with your precious Microns. <laughs> <laughs> is that the... 003? Yeah, the finest point. Okay. Actually, this is the first time I'm using that size tip, and it's perfect for this fine detail work. Oh, good. But I don't only use the microns. Let me show you some of the other stuff in the kit. Oh, I know that pen. Mm -hmm. That's the Tombow. Yeah, the Tombow Fudnasuk brush pen. Mm -hmm. Soft, solid brush pen. So is the Pentel pocket brush. It's a more dynamic line, but be careful because it takes a while to dry. Both good pens but the one I'm going to use is the Sakura Pigma Fine Brush Pen. I know you love those pens. Yeah, it's somewhere between the Tombow and the Pentel. 
and it lays down a really nice variable weight line. And like the others, it's waterproof. Which is something I know you look out for. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the reason I mentioned preferring waterproof pens is that sometimes I will ink, wash, or watercolor over my lines. Right. But if you don't plan on sloshing liquids all over your lines, <laughs> you can stock your kit with any pen you want. All right, so as far as con sketches go, maybe, depending on what kind of time you have, what somebody wants, mm -hmm. maybe this is the stage where you stop and sign it and everybody's happy. It looks good. Mm -hmm. A nice line drawing of Ms. Marvel. Yeah, and, and I'd be happy with it. Mm -hmm. But let's say we want to take it just a little bit farther. These are water brushes that I filled with different dilutions of ink and water. Ah, so brush pens filled with ink wash. Exactly. A simple way to mix a wash ahead of time and take it on the go. And I've also seen you bring your little wash containers mm -hmm. and use a regular brush. Yeah. Basically, adding the wash is just a little finishing touch on the line work, and again, I think at this stage, you could probably sign it and call it done. But... But if you had the time and the inclination to do something a little bit extra, there are some things that you could do. So along with those pots of wash that I sometimes bring, I'll also bring some straight up ink. In case you have to mix more wash. Yeah, and in case I want to brush on some large areas of black. I'll also throw a small travel watercolor palette in my bag just in case. And so I can actually use the ink of the watercolors. I've got a small set of travel brushes in my kit. Ooh, I like that brush. Yeah, right? It's a little secret spy brush. If you're going to paint this thing, you might want to tape it down. Your con table probably has some awful tablecloth on it. And people are always bumping into the table. Yeah, so it's a good idea to bring your own board or lap desk. Just something solid that you can work on and some painter's tape. Now, we are not on a rickety con table, so I'm just gonna tape it down right here. I'm guessing, based on the thumbnail for this video, mm -hmm. you went with watercolor. You are correct. <laughs> I know this is an Arteza travel watercolor set mm -hmm. because it's mine <laughs> and you stole it to make this video. <laughs> My set is very well used <laughs> and I am currently out of yellow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I appropriated your watercolors for this video, but that's a good point because there are a bunch of sets like this, mm -hmm. all different palettes, all different price ranges. This set was fairly inexpensive. Exactly. But, you know, find the colors and the price that you like and go with it. It doesn't have to be elaborate or expensive. Did you see the trailer for the Ms. Marvel series? <laughs> I did. It looks like fun. Yeah, I think. I don't know a lot about this version of the character. Mm -hmm. I know she's got these stretchy and beginning powers, and I, I think I saw some of that in the trailer. Most so. of the Disney Plus series we've liked so far. Oh yeah, well I'm up for it. And maybe we'll find out how to pronounce the Miz. Yeah, I told you, I looked it up before we recorded this, and there are some very heated debates in the forums about whether it's Miz or Miss. Uh-huh. I know MS is pronounced Miz, technically, but people are really throwing down over this issue. So maybe the series will put an end to the debate. Yeah, also MS is is also the abbreviation for manuscript. So maybe it's manuscript Marvel. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> the white gel pen I keep in my kit for corrections and detail work. In this case, I'm fixing a little ink splotch I made early on. Oh yeah, I see that. I'm also using it to add some specular highlights to the bracelets. Okay, the tape's coming up. Is it finished? Almost. Just a few more things in the kit that are essential. I have this fine point eraser pen that I use for fixing errors in tight spaces. And you keep a refill in the case because you never know. You never do. But the main workhorse is this big old Statler eraser. And I'm just going to erase some of the blue lines of the border that I started with. And then I'll grab a Micron and finally, it's time to sign this thing and call it finished. All right, one finished Miss Marvel con sketch. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. There she is. Mm -hmm. Did you use everything in your con kit to draw this? Almost. 
I talked about just about everything, but I didn't mention the pencil extender. Oh, for when you sharpen your pencils really short. Yeah, and I also carry a few other pencils of varying softness, in case I feel like doing a more elaborate pencil sketch. And some smudge stumps for the same reason. I like this one. Yeah. This was, I've seen you grab one kit or another when we're working on stuff, mm -hmm. but it's nice to have you break this one down. Well, you know, I just thought it might be helpful, but you know, again, it's just what I use currently. It's always in flux. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you just have to find out what works best for you and build your own kit. Yeah, but not with someone else's watercolor set. It's not <laughs> like I'm going to keep it. I mean, I might, keep, I might keep it. You never know. I'm a wild card. You are. They call me the loose cannon. You never know. You never. You, you might never see those watercolors again. Cease! You'll never take.